Thank you for your patience uh, in waiting for this video. Um, you can probably guess it's not the easiest video to make and especially because I am the type to not really talk about things like this so publicly. I usually like to just keep to myself, not really share like sadder aspects or just more emotional aspects of my life. But of course, we've been sharing our lives for so long on the internet with you guys and, and it's important to let you know so we can all like move past this and continue making vlogs and showing off our lives and with this video afterwards uh, we can get on with our lives get on with my life and continue making content and enjoying life so yeah um as many of you may or may not have noticed michael hasn't been in the vlogs lately and he's actually started a new channel which i'll make sure to link so you can go check it out um, but we are in the process of getting a divorce in Canada where we were married You have to be separated for a year before you can uh, put in for a divorce. So we're doing that process right now So we we've been planning this for a while. Uh, we made it official in January, but we it's kind of been like months of talking and like communicating and it just It just we realized that we were growing separately and so eventually we just we just had to you know do what's what's best for the both of us um and and yeah i, I still adore him as a friend um we there's no bad blood there's there's no like drama and there's there's nothing super juicy it's just we grew apart and that happens sometimes, especially when you start a new life or like, you know, not maybe not start a new life, but you, like our lives in Canada are much different than the lives we have here in the Philippines. And I think that can also play a part in why it wasn't working for us anymore. Um, there could be a multitude of different reasons, but at the end of the day, it just, it just wasn't working for us. Um, and that that's sometimes sometimes the best option is to is to let it end you know it's not always a happy conclusion or solution but sometimes it's like the necessary thing to do so it is quite difficult for me to talk about this it, it's not the divorce itself that is difficult because we have been talking about this for a long time and we've kind of come to terms with that it's more of me sharing and talking about this in general to you guys i am not you know i don't like talking about my personal life as much which is strange because i do almost daily vlogs um but I, I really don't like talking about the negative or or the sad or the emotional i'm i very much like keeping to myself and not wanting other people to worry about so that's why it's taken me much longer to kind of talk about it versus Michael so when we got to the Philippines that's kind of when we started taking it really seriously um, at first I okay so I'm a very anxious person I'm, I'm very introverted actually which is kind of ironic since I'm doing vlogs and everything but when we first started I was very shy and normally in the background and as we vlogged and grown and did more things. I became more like a forefront person, talking to the camera, talking to you. And part of the reason why I don't want to stop vlogging is because it helps push me out of that comfort zone. Of course, you know, you're, you're in a little box and the best way to get more comfortable with life and pushing anxiety out of the way is by like barreling straight through it. <laughs> so that's, that's part of the reason why I'm still here and I'll still be vlogging. Uh, Michael gave me the the, the main channel, um, which I still don't think I deserve it. Um, and I hope that I can one day really fill the shoes that Michael has, has I don't know, like, you know, he's really good at it and I'm not that good at it. And I hope to one day be 
just as good as him. Maybe a little bit better. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Let's let's stay realistic though. Um, and so that's why I have I have the main channel. Okay, I didn't ask for this one. I even said I would start my own. But okay, so he basically he basically explained that he has an easier time with vlogging and everything, and he's gonna be traveling a lot. So it's easier to build up a channel when you're going to many new places, especially around the Philippines, as opposed to me, who I will travel, don't get me wrong, but I won't be traveling at the same speed and extrovertedness that he does. And so it's easier to just maintain this channel versus going out on my own to, to start a new one. So that's why I'm still here and Michael has started a new channel, which again, be sure to go check it out because it is good. I've watched some of the videos. So, so yeah, there, there's no bad blood between us or anything. We're still friends. We just noticed that we have been drifting apart um, in like both just life communicating and goals, I guess, or just different outlooks of what we want in life. And we, we realized that we just weren't growing together on the same path. Um, and I think it's because so many doors opened, so many new experiences were had. And so of course with experience, you learn different things, you learn different things like about yourself. And I think that's part of the reason why we started to grow apart. Um, and not clicking the same way we clicked before, back in the day. So I'll still be here, I'll still be vlogging. I of course love the Philippines. I love the people and friends that I, I've met along the way. And I'm, I'm excited for what's to come. Um, I, I'll still be vlogging, although it won't be as clean cut as Michael. Uh, I feel still like a rookie. In, in comparison to him because he it was really good at what he did and so now I'm learning my own style and what works for me how I can also improve my own vlogging and just just life in general I, I still hope that you support both of us through our differing journeys and watch us come to our own different potentials I look forward to to learning more about myself and becoming more independent as well I see myself back then before vlogging, before I really got comfortable with the camera and I see myself now and how far I've come and so I really, really want to explore that more and, and kind of reach more of my potential and so I, I hope you'll be there cheering for me as well because it will be a journey and it, it won't be perfect. Um, the first step is to probably get a better video schedule. <laughs> Uh, I do hope to upload more. It's just, it's it's a it's big shoes to fill. That's that's how I see it. Thank you to the the 25 million people who have watched our journey so far, and I really hope that both of us, even doing separate things, can continue to entertain and f hang out with you guys. I don't know. Uh, like. So yeah, sorry, this is so, I'm not good at this at all. I really, like, like the anxiety I had to film this video was crazy. I, it's just, it's hard, okay? It's so much easier to just walk around in a mall and be like, hey guys, today I'm gonna go buy some Doritos or something. Like this is intense. So I'm sorry that if this comes across really weird and and like awkward because that's how I am weird and awkward, okay? And that's why a lot of the content will probably be, okay? Cause I still will be doing cosplay. There's still, there's gonna be travel and Philippines living, but there's also going to be how I live my life, which is gonna include cosplay and, and just weird stuff, Dungeons and Dragons, you know? <laughs> Um, so thank you for sticking around, listening to me ramble and try to try to voice this out properly and, and communicate with you. I thank you so much for being here. I, I, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.